Why should you become a Christian? That is an excellent question, an outstanding question, and one for which the answer one for which the answer that I'm about to give should tell you something about yourself. You see, there's a lot of folks out there who have embraced this idea that the work of evangelism is a work of uh, salesmanship. That the way we bring people into the kingdom is we sort of line up these bullet points. We get testimonials from satisfied customers and we get you to sign on the dotted line. Well, I don't want to dispute first that there are astonishing, amazing, immeasurably good blessings that come from embracing the work of Christ. There are. And I don't either want to suggest that that's not in part a legitimate motive. But it's not where I want to start. I want to start here. You should become a Christian because the Christian faith is true. Because it and it alone accurately describes reality. Yes, there are disagreements, as we've talked about in an earlier segment, on among even Christians about different things. But what we all agree on, the fundamentals, are these truths that God made us and he made us for fellowship with him. But that fellowship is broken by our sin. And we're born into that sin. We are by nature the enemies of God. But God, while we were yet sinners, loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son to receive in himself the punishment that is due to us for our sins so that we can be reconciled. And so when we rest in that work, we have peace with the living God. We're adopted into his family and we spend eternity in paradise without sin. That's what's true. Now, I'm not suggesting that I have, uh, in just these few minutes or in the whole of the work that we've been doing in these Ask RCs, that I've demonstrated conclusively that this is the truth. Not at all. But I'm telling you that the first reason is because it's the truth. The second reason is actually profoundly earthly. I mentioned all of these uh, bullet point positive things, but there's something profoundly earthly that is a benefit. When you embrace the work of Christ, your guilt goes away. Now, you may still have feelings of guilt because there's a difference between being guilty and feeling guilty. Sometimes we feel guilty when we're not. Sometimes we don't feel guilty when we are. But the real problem is the reality of our guilt. And if you're not a believer, I know that weighs on you. I know you feel that fear, that helplessness, I know that you know your good deeds don't and can't outweigh your bad deeds. I know you know that you stand guilty. But the very first thing that happens when we embrace the work of Christ is our Father in Heaven declares us not guilty. And not guilty forever. He, in the words of Scripture, removes our sins from us as far as the east is from the west. Wouldn't you like to be able to let go of your guilt? No other faith in the history of the world can or has offered this. Cry out for God's mercy in Christ. Recognize his suffering for you in your place, and you will have peace and forgiveness forever. And that's why you should become 
a Christian. 